Hey, it's Jeanette at the Not So Perfect Mom, and today I'm going to show you this stack of books right next to me. They are books that I have been collecting for a world mythology uh, study that we're going to do next year. I have a 12th grader and a 6th grader, and we're going to count this as our history credit for the 12th grader. So, let's get into it. Um, before I go too deep into it, I want to say that if there are any cultures or mythologies that I've missed that you think that we definitely need to include in it, like I don't think there's any um, Roman mythology in here, I do have Greek mythology, but I know that there are gaps, so if you know of any that I need to include in it, feel free to let me know down below and I will see what I can find in that area. So here we go. The first one is an old library book that I've had on my shelf for quite some time, and it is uh, Heroes, Gods, and Monsters of the Greek Myths by Evslin. The first name is Bernard Evslin, in case you want to see. The thing I like about this one is that each chapter is actually a different god. So, like, chapter one will be Zeus, and there'll be an illustration and probably about two, maybe three pages talking about the God and the myths and it's very short, concise, and to the point which I really like and I think my children will appreciate. Um, <clears throat> then we have The Power of Myth by Joseph Campbell. I've already tabbed two of the uh, short stories in this that we're actually going to include. Of course, we're not going to read every single one of these books from front to back. We're going to pick and choose what we want out of them. So then they have the 5 Minute Iliad and other instant classics. This is uh, Great Books for the Short Attention Span by Greg Nagin. Then we have a not mythology book, a Russian fairy tale book. And I thought this one would be a nice addition. This is by Alexander Efenesev. I probably totally butchered that. But hey, I tried. Then we have Who's Who in Egyptian Mythology. And this is by Anthony S. Uh, Mercante, Mer Mercante. I'm not sure. <clears throat> then we have Myths and Their Meaning by Max Herzberg. And this one has some really great color images in it. I don't know if you can see for the glare. But I've already enjoyed flipping through that one. And this is the World Mythology. It's an anthology by Donna Rosenberg. And <clears throat> this one is one of the um, core books that. A, I found online about um, I found a curriculum guideline lesson plan I don't know what you want to call it where it listed the books and what they use them for and stuff and this was one of the main books that came up then we have The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell this is also a collection of short stories and they'll only be using a couple of the stories in it then we have this big monster of a book and this is Bullfinch's Mythology then we have Goddesses, Heroes, and Shamans, The Young People's Guide to World Mythology. And this is uh, more of a younger children, and it's broken up, so it's not quite so much reading. Let me um, move my stack here just a little bit before it topples over. This is a series that was published by um, Barnes & Noble. So I don't know if there's a specific author on it, and I probably could look, but I'm kind of being lazy, and I'm fixing to have to go to work here in about 10 minutes. So this is The Way to Eternity, which is about Egyptian myth, and each of these books has really gorgeous illustrations inside of it, a lot of pictures to go with the writing, which is always the best part. Journey Through Dreamtime. This is about Oceana myth. And I've never even heard of Oceana myth, so this one was a great find. And then this is The Eternal Cycle, which is about Indian myth. Uh, there we go. Sorry for the glare. This is Land of the Dragon. This is Chinese mythology. Then we have Celtic mythology, A to Z. And this is by um, Gina Matson. And this was the other textbook top book that was um, going to make up the backbone of our world mythology unit. And this is by um, Roy Willis, and it's just World Mythology, the Illustrated God. And if you look for these books on Amazon, they're really expensive. But um, 
if you go to thriftbooks.com and you look there, you can find these at a much more reasonable price. And that's what I did with a lot of these bigger, older books was go through thrift books and buy them. Then we have Norse Mythology, and this is by Arthur Clotterell. And then the last one is this behemoth encyclopedia of mythology and this one's also also by Arthur Cotterell and this one also has a lot of um, beautiful images inside of it so these are all the books that we've gathered so far of course school starts here in a couple of weeks and um, we won't be using every single front and back cover for them we will be using most of them to incorporate things or to look it up or write papers or whatever um, I'm still in the process of working out exactly what all is going to be entailed in the class, especially with my 12th grader, um, so he can get his credit for the end of the year. But, like I said before, if there's anything in there that I have missed that you think is really important for a world mythology unit, feel free to let me know. I will leave a link to thrift books down below. I will leave a link, if I can find it, I will leave a link to the, um, the lesson plan that I found that listed um, the book, some of the main books in this in it down below too. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to see more. And I hopefully will be back to uploading a little bit more once uh, school's done. I mean, work's done. I this is my last week working a, a full-time job, and then I will be back to lesson planning and reading and doing schoolwork with my children. So I guess see you guys later. Bye.